Welcome to the first tutorial in the series on how to get started using Warhead. Today we're going to show you how to add content to your Warhead website using the dashboard CMS. Now the content that we add today is actually going to be used in a future tutorial where we create a theme for a portfolio site called Jameson Photography. Let's go ahead and get started. So now you're on the dashboard section. The dashboard is where you go to access all the main areas of your website. So store, content, themes, and settings. Since we're going to be adding content today, let's go ahead and click on content. Now here I've been brought to a large table of what are called core pages. Core pages in Warhead are simply the primary pages on every website. Today we're going to be adding content to the index or home page of our website. So to do that, all we do is hover over the page that we want to add content to and click modify. Now you can see no content has been added to the index page yet, so we're going to have to create some. To do that, simply click the Create Content link, and you'll see the Create Content window opens up. And the first piece of content we're going to create is text that's going to be going on top of a banner image on our homepage. So we're going to go ahead and name this content Banner. And since this text is for a portfolio website, let's go ahead and type something simple like Welcome to my portfolio. Now this content can easily be changed or updated at any time, um, so don't worry about it being perfect. Once I have my content named and entered, I click Save. And there it's been added. Now we also want to add some welcome text to our homepage. So we're going to create some more content. To do that, just click Create Content again. And since it's welcome text for our homepage, we'll just call it Home Page content. Now I've got some content here that I have saved. I'm just going to paste in so we can see it on the site. Again, don't worry about it being perfect. This can be updated at any time. I just click Save and there we've added two pieces of different content to our home page. Alright, now we save the page and we're taken back to our table of core pages. Next we want to add some gallery files. Um, since it's for a portfolio site for a photographer, we're going to add some of his awesome photography work. And to do that, we're going to create a gallery. And as you can see when I hover over content here, there's lots of different types of content I can manage. Um, but since we're creating a gallery, let's go ahead and click gallery. Now we don't have any gallery content yet, so we're going to have to create it. That's very easy. You just click create. And the create gallery window opens up just like the create content window did. And because this gallery is for a portfolio site, let's just call it Portfolio. All right, now that we have our gallery name, all we need to do is add our files and any optional information to our files. So to do that, it's really easy. Click Upload Files. Start uploading your gallery images. Got one there. Get another one there. Now this can all be done uh, one at a time like you're seeing, or if you want to up upload multiple files at once, you simply click the files, and there we have six selected. And there they all are. So now that we have our files, um, like I said, we want to add some captions to these images. So we're going to go ahead and modify it and add a caption. Since these are our client's images and we don't know what he wants them to say, we'll go ahead and just type a test caption so they can look, they can see what it looks like on the site and come back and edit them later when they have some finalized captions. All right, and here I'm just going to run through and add test captions to every image. The great thing about Warhead's content section is anytime you want to update this here easily. You can even uh, set permissions for users so that um, you can choose where they go to update their content, where they have access to update everything. Alright, now that I have my captions added, the only thing I need to do is save my gallery, and there you have it. Alright guys, you've just seen how easy it is to add and manage content in a Warhead website. Stay tuned for a future tutorial where we show you how to actually use this content when you're creating a theme.